So TP53 mutated mantle cell lymphoma remains one of the highest need patient populations in the mantle cell lymphoma sphere. Uh, we've consistently demonstrated poorer outcomes with TP53 mutations, whether that's to chemo immunotherapy, stem cell transplant, um, BCK inhibition, or combinations of these therapies. Um, patients with TP53 mutations remain really difficult to treat um, and often uh, unable to sequence through all of the therapies because of loss of control and rapid disease progression. Uh, there have been uh, a number of um, there have been a number of attempts recently to improve upon induction therapies, including the upfront use of BTK inhibitors in combination with chemotherapy. Uh, and again, we've seen improved responses in the triangle study and the shine data. But um, P53, again, um, is a population that does poorly, even with these improved combinations. We are seeing now emerging data for the efficacy of novel immunotherapies, both bispecific antibodies and chimeric antigen receptor T cells. And certainly there is evidence to suggest that patients with P53 mutations do respond, although again, they, there is real world data suggests that they don't do as well as P53 wild type. This makes the management of P53 mutated mantle cell lymphoma really difficult, particularly when you're faced with that first choice of induction therapy. Um, partly this will depend on your jurisdiction in which you practice and the availability of novel therapies early on in the treatment lines. In Australia, we are limited to the use of chemoimmunotherapy as our first treatment option, but we use this reluctantly. And we, are, we, we try to identify patients with P53 mutations early and plan uh, for novel therapeutic approaches in the event of almost certain uh, early progression or relapse. Um, at the moment, uh, those include the uh, early use of allogeneic stem cell transplant in patients with suitable donors and medical comorbidities, uh, or else the prioritization of clinical studies, particularly those with novel immunotherapeutic effects, um, such as bispecific antibodies, and trying to utilize CAR T cells when they're available um, to treat these patients early, rather than waiting for multiple relapses to occur, the accumulation of toxicities, and further clonal evolution of their mantle cell lymphoma.